They call me Squirrel. What's going on, Squirrel Squad? It's your boy, the Squirrel, and I'm back, and I have got a lot of requests for some Mickey Flanagan, and I'm finally getting around to doing some. I'm sorry, I ping pong all over the place. I'm trying to fill as many reactions as I can for the requests that people are asking for, and uh, the Mickey Flanagan keeps coming up over and over and over, so I'm happy to finally get into some of this, and um, we'll see how it is, and then uh, probably do some more in the future, I'm sure. This one's called Mickey Flanagan. Americans just don't get it, so... Let's see. Maybe I won't get it. <laughs> Back to where I was. <laughs> Very professional comedian. <laughs> they don't take the piss properly either. Now we take the piss properly in the UK. We're trained as children. My nan trained me up. She said, come down the pub, we'll take the piss out of people. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> as long as they don't hear it, don't matter. She sit me in the corner. Geezer would come in with an eye patch on. She'd go, aye, aye. <laughs> Lord Nelson's turned up over here, look. <laughs> but the Americans, not so much, and it's quite trying. And I'll tell you an example of why I couldn't live there. I'm out with the Americans. They're eating too much. Of course they were eating too much. <laughs> a bloke came in with a wig on. A catastrophe of a wig. Bastard of a wig. <laughs> provocative. The wig is a very provocative garment. It's a bloke saying, I've lost me hair. But I'm not having it. <laughs> I'm going to put this on my head. And I'm going to have a walkabout. <laughs> and you lot are going to collude in the illusion. I've still got a bar on it, all right? <laughs> This is something that always gets me. I've always said since a young age that if I lost my hair, I'd be okay with that, and I would just shave my head. And I still feel that way, but a friend of mine who lost his hair said, you know, I felt the same way until I started losing it. Because when you shave your head, you always know it'll grow back, but when you start losing your hair, you know it's not going to grow back, which I, I kind of get, but I kind of don't. But uh, anyhow, with the whole losing the hair thing... Um, I've always been perplexed by people with bad toupees or hair pieces, wigs. Um, like, if you get a good one and it looks nice, those are really expensive. Uh, and nobody can probably tell you are wearing one. But when it's obvious, uh, I don't know. I don't think that uh, I should have to pretend. Maybe I should. But I'm with Mickey on this one. <laughs> So he can't, the wig came in, the wig came in, hovered in like a, some sort of spaceship with a man underneath it. <laughs> so I thought, at least we'll have a laugh. So I leant into the Americans, I said, have a look, have a look at the geezer's wig. <laughs> have a look, have a look at the syrup. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Didn't join in, didn't laugh. They had no idea what I was trying to achieve. <laughs> the woman got a bit upset. She said, oh, how scathing. How scathing. <laughs> she said, why are you attacking that man? He's obviously got issues with the lust of his hair. But he's taking positive steps. I said, have a look at his head, love. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> carpet on you now, a positive step. So I'm going home. I'm going back to the UK where sanity prevails. The bloke nice. walks in looking like that. We all turn around as one and we go ha ha ha. Oh have a look at him will ya? <laughs> what a complete cunt. <laughs> yeah! That's awesome. That was awesome. Uh... <laughs> I like to think that I take the piss pretty well. I'm a ball buster. That's what I do. Uh, if you know me and you hang out with me, I've probably given you a fucking nickname at this point. Uh, you know, that's what I do. I was a bartender for years, and you'd walk to the bar, and I'd walk down, and 
and I mean, Joe, Jerry, Jerry, Joe. Those are old couple that had Joe and Jerry, but I call them Joe, Jerry, and Jerry, Joe. There was Joni and Chachi. There was Cockroach. There was uh, Naked Tommy, uh, 20 Cent. I mean, there was, it had all these. Everybody had a nickname. Everybody. And it was like a badge of honor for me to finally give a fuck enough about you to give you a nickname. I uh, love taking the piss out of people and love busting balls and having a good time. And uh, screw those stuffy Americans you ran into. Mickey, screw those people. But uh, that was very good. That was funny. This guy's, uh, this guy's, uh, he's, he's funny. He's got a thick accent. So uh, it's, I have to listen very carefully. But um, God, he's great. He's awesome. So more Mickey Flanagan on the way, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. I sure did. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe before you leave. And until next time, scroll up. Bye.